Today, I am gonna be fishing the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper here at the Lower Salt River. I've heard a lot of good things about this bait and I'm excited to see how productive it is here at the river. So I'm starting out with a quarter ounce size. This is the haze color. I chose it because it looks an awful lot like a bluegill and also an awful lot like the bait fish that are up around the side here. I'm not exactly sure what kind of bait fish they are, um, but this looks an awful lot like them and how they swim. And so I'm excited to see how this thing works. I am throwing it on my Mach 2, my Lose Mach 2 combo, spinning combo today. I have 15 pound uh, Power Pro braid to a 10 pound P-Line Tactical Fluorocarbon leader. I do have some bigger sizes. Uh, we'll try it out if necessary, but this size here, this is the quarter ounce, it matches the size of the bait fish that are on the side as well. And so I'm starting with something supernatural that I feel like these fish are gonna be dialed in on and just inhale. So hopefully we'll catch a bunch of fish. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh man, look at how he ate that. That is in his mouth good. Well, that's a good sign, guys. They are gonna like this thing. Little guy, but it's a little bait, so that's what I would expect. <laughs> All right, so where I'm at right now, there's a lot of, it's, it's really rocky bottom, not a ton of grass, and there's a slow enough, slow enough moving current up here where I know fish could stack up. And if you see the top of the water here, there's bug activity everywhere. I mean, so far I think it's pretty awesome. I just have to fish it a certain way. Oh, we just had another one. Hammer it. <laughs> yeah, it's a very consistent bait. It's gonna catch fish for sure. It'll catch the little ones. We might have to upgrade our size, but yeah, these little guys are definitely feeding on these little bait fish for sure. That one seems a little bit better than the last few. I mean, it's catching fish, no problem, guys. Oh, look. Don't know how well you guys can see, but there's a tongue hanging, out, or a tail hanging out of his throat there. They are definitely feeding on little bait fish for sure. It's really unfortunate that this thing picks up that much grass because it is an awesome bait. And if it didn't pick up that much, man, it would be just slant. Well, it's, it's doing really good here, but it would just be so much better than what it's doing right. Oh man, he's got it. <laughs> we would just be doing so much better than we already are. Uh, we got my line wrapped around the tip of my line. <laughs> I mean, look at how the, those little guys are just slamming and destroying this thing. Probably do need to upgrade my size a little bit here in a minute if we're gonna catch any bigger fish, but I'm finding that I have to keep my rod tip up way high and I have to move the bait pretty fast, keep it close to the surface. Otherwise, it's just getting crap on it, unfortunately. <laughs> oh man, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We are catching so many of these little tiny guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade my size because this is uh, this is actually kind of funny how many we're catching. All right, this may or may not weed out some of them, but we went up to the half ounce rather than the quarter ounce. Let's see how we do. At this point, I'm kind of wishing I had my uh, my bait caster because this is a little bit heavy for this setup. I mean, I do have this is a six foot ten medium action rod um, or medium power fast action rod. Um, so it, it is pretty stiff. It should be able to handle it pretty good, but I am wishing I had my bait caster with me because uh, I just wasn't expecting it to pick up that many little fish. But man, oh my goodness. Even, oh my goodness. You guys, look at how this tiny little guy ate that thing. That is nuts. 
and he just swallowed that thing and he ruined our eyeball too dang it first fish and it's already screwed up our bait that's not cool man that's nuts oops sorry dude didn't mean to hurt you i was gonna toss you back in you got it you got it nope okay there you go That's a fish, and that's a better fish. That's a way better fish than what we've been catching. Awesome. Nice. No freaking way, guys. Look at what we got on here. Look at the size. Look at the size of that trout. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. That's a two pound trout right there. Holy cow. <laughs> I was not expecting to catch a trout on that today. That's awesome though. That is a solid fish. I thought he was a two pound bass. Oh, he got himself off. Bye dude. See you later. He's going to come back up in here into the, into the current. We might even be able to grab him again. He doesn't know he's loose yet. No, he's going. That was awesome. So I want to talk about this bait for just a second. Um, one of the reasons why I really like it is actually the shape. It looks like a little guppy style thing. But the reason why I wanted to fish it is because I believed it would fall good. And what I mean by that, by that is when you drop it in the water, it's going to glide down to the bottom. It's not just going to twirl its way down. It's going to glide with that action on the tail. And I know it's really hard to see down there. But when this thing drops, it it glides down and it sticks to the bottom. You can almost fish this thing like a jig off the bottom. And this thing is just incredible, the action on there. The other thing I really like about it is how the hook is hidden. It's not just weedless, but the hook is hidden. I can't tell you how many times, guys, that I've had fish come up, stare at a bait, and as soon as they see that shine, that flash from the hook, they turn around and they leave. This does not give them any reason not to bite whatsoever. I mean, the only thing is the eye of the hook right there. And it's, so it's a very finessey style bait where things get finicky. Those bass don't want to bite. They will probably bite this one. Again, I haven't fished it a ton, but I'm gonna because it, it's an awesome bait. <laughs> he's clear over on that other side i'm glad i have that half ounce on it got me all the way over there again not a big fish they're tiny but dark sleepers just catching fish it's awesome we need to get the big size the three quarter or one ounce to weed out the little guys they're just everything's eating that thing got a dance thanks bud Let's see if we if we make another bomber cast out there we get another one. Oh. And again i felt that fish up yep. went down on them and then set the hook i think we still got them yeah so like they're holding on to it once you get bit it's awesome you can wind down and set the hook good without them spitting it it is freaking awesome <laughs> I am, oh, he just spit up a, oh, that was a craw. He spit up a craw, so they're eating those pretty good too. That is just nuts how many fish we're catching with this thing, guys. Love it. He almost gave us a dance too, and I just chucked him in. Let's see, they must be stacked up there behind some grass and stuff out there we're hitting. We're gonna keep chucking it out there and giving it to him. And rod tips way up. So I'm trying to keep this thing closer to the surface out of all the grass. Oh, we just, I just screwed up a bite by twitching it like that. <laughs> Dang it. It's actually a very easy bait to fish. Like super easy. Only problem is it does pick up more grass than I expected it to. It's a bummer. Oh, got him. Oh, he came off. Dang it. That felt like a better one. Dang it. All right. That seemed like a better fish. Let's hope that uh, we can get in front of his friends that are also better fish. 
Yep. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. That definitely feels like a better one. He's got me in some grass or something, but he's got a good head shake to him. Get out of there, buddy. He's got me stuck in something. There we go. Oh, he's definitely way better. Yeah, good fish. That's awesome, guys. Solid fish. He's a two and a half. Woo -hoo -hoo. That is just awesome. Come here, dude. Check out that fish, guys. He's a two, two and a half. That, man, I am very pleased with this bait. Very, very pleased with this bait. <laughs> and the half ounce is a really good size. I'm catching all different sizes. I'm glad I went from the quarter to half because uh, quarter was just catching every tiny little four inch bass. Now we can have a chance to catch some of these guys here. Man, it's just awesome. Got him. Feels like another decent one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it. It doesn't just catch the little one, guys. It catches nice ones, too. Man, he's, he's pulling out some good drag. <laughs> We're catching them a good distance out, too, and they keep pulling me through different grass patches. And it's fun. This is fun. <laughs> That's another two. Oh, man, he almost went to my feet right there. That's another two-pounder. <laughs> He had something weird happen to him right there, and his fins are messed up. What's cool about this thing is it's actually, for how big it is, it's pretty heavy. It casts far. So I'm able to get to places I wouldn't normally be able to cast to, and it, I mean, it's just an awesome bait. Can you give us a dance, buddy? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get out of this guy's way. He's horny. <laughs> What are you going to do? <laughs> They're way over on the other side, dude. You're going to have to swim. <laughs> he wants a chance at the girls. <laughs> so the area I'm fishing here at the river today are spots 5 through 10 of my free download of the 55 fishing spots here at the Lower Salt River. So if you're wondering where I'm at, that's where I'm at today. If you haven't heard of that, I have a resource for you guys and I'll have a link in the description down below uh, where you can download that resource. Uh, so you can come out here where I'm fishing and catch fish too. Whew, not a whole lot of room to cast right here, but we're gonna try and hit that pocket from this side. Whew. Big old slippery rocks, too. Oh, man. Very tough to cast. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's a tiny guy, but he feels like a giant in this current. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. I knew there'd be some over there. I just didn't know if I could get to them with all that. When I've got all kinds of cover up here, it's hard to cast. Woo, yeah. Nice cast, there we go. Oh, a little. No, get off of there. You're supposed to be weedless, buddy, come on. Dang it. Managed to snag that grass. I don't know if we're gonna get it back. Oh crap, we got people coming. I gotta put my line under the water. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> oh. Well. Oh, you're fine. Well, 
that kind of sucked guys bummer i do have another one though so it's just a different color we're gonna have to try now that we snapped off that other one i'm actually really excited to give this one a try this color this is the dark shag color uh, it looks a lot like the bait fish that are in here too doesn't look as much like a bluegill but uh i still think that these fish are going to dial in on this color big time i'm excited to see the difference between the two there we go i think that's a trout though yep well the trout don't mind the dark sleeper at all we're getting hit plenty by them too so if you want to catch them all guys this is a good bait to use <laughs> things are so hard to hold on to so I couldn't really show them to you much after I got the hook out there we go there we go seemed like a little bit better one. Oh, he got me up in those reeds get out of there buddy all right well the way he ate that was really cool yeah nice fish I was trying to get the weeds and grass off of it and pulled it up over some grass and he slammed it off the top pretty much. That's a good one. That's a good one. Awesome sauce. Look at that bass, guys. <laughs> That's another two. There we go. Finally got him. This thing's giving us a couple of, a few twos today. That's awesome. He came right up through the grass and just nailed that puppy. It's awesome. Oh, he got it that time. That one's a trout. <laughs> Man, it's catching them all. Bye, buddy. Easy release. That's nice with trout. I don't like messing with them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I am still just blown away at how these fish are eating this. They just, they don't question it. They just eat it. That's what you want. It's a good bait. Wow. We just hit 30 fish for the day, guys. Pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these little guys are stacked up over there. It's a lot of fun. All right. You let go, buddy. Let go. Woo. <laughs> oh i love it these guys just don't even hesitate they just he picked that up and i watched him swim with my line for a while before i set the hook he just held on to it you guys definitely can't go wrong by using the dark sleeper it's picking up fish for sure man i am surprised with how well this is done today so i would have to say that the fish like it but do i like it mostly yes there are some times i definitely wanted to switch over to something else today just because i didn't feel like it was the most effective thing to fish in that area but all in all it is a solid bait very easy to fish here if you're okay pulling grass off your line a lot because it just snags a ton so let me know if you guys like this type of video where i come out and do just one bait focus on that and teaching you guys how to use it uh, I did one like this with the buzz bait here. If you want to check out that video, you can do so right here. And as always, guys, remember to get out and live. Peace.